Hello learners, hope you are keeping well. Uh, today's lesson we're going to look at again is based on economic geography and we're going to look at the, and I must just get my little highlighter in here, okay, and we're going to look at the contribution of secondary activities to the South African economy. Okay, that's going to be our main one. Now, there's so many factors that you can look at down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of the main factors, which if this sort of section comes out, uh, will then you will be able to answer them. Okay, so let's go on. Now, of course, uh, as I always do, learners, it's, it's important, again, just to revise over what is a secondary sector, all right? It's the processing, that means the manufacturing or transforming of raw materials into products or goods, okay, your factories, etc. Okay, so let's look at the significance of this to our economy. All right, and the first thing I would say here, it promotes the development of the primary sector. Why? Because raw materials are needed, okay? So the more the manufacturing happens in those industries, the greater the demand for raw materials, and whether it's agricultural products, whether it's mining, there will be a greater production or mining or planting of crops, etc. So that's an important thing because it promotes economic development. Remember, if there's more mining and more agriculture, more of the primary sector, greater employment, greater outputs, etc. So we're just looking at this. All right. This is a beautiful iron and steel. That's iron ore, rather. Apologies. That's being mined. And then you look at it. It's turned into iron and steel and then the iron and steel goes in and makes those cars so look at the the movement of it eh? for the raw material then i'm going to look at the tertiary sector is impacted positively all right there's so many things all right i'm going to take one of them improvement on transport infrastructure okay that's one of them because now transport, because there's more trucks, there's more production. We have to include transport infrastructure, whether it's road, rail, right? And then we're starting to uh, send out stuff. Okay, so we need that commercial institutions uh, like banks, okay, will also uh, actually grow even bigger, okay, to service these uh, businesses in terms of the industries, etc. There's so many things we can talk about here, learners. Uh, we'll talk about uh, sales, like you take your car sales that's being uh, put up. That's a tertiary sector. Okay, we find that as more manufacturing come in, more computers, etc. That's running it, more machinery, more tertiary education facilities are coming up. All right, uh, universities, colleges developing engineers, technicians, etc. The, the list is endless, okay, in terms of its impact on the tertiary sector. And even the growth in the quaternary sector, example, doing research for the development of more effective machinery, that's electronics, etc. You have to do research, all right, in terms of that. So even that section grows. Can you see? So there's a link between all the economic sectors or economic activities rather, that actually influences, okay, in terms of your, uh, your secondary activities, all right? Now, it supplies finishing products, reducing imports. Remember, if we can produce in our country, the less the imports. And remember, each time we're buying imports in dollars, etc., it's converting a lot to our currency. We can less imports 
you understand, will help us to create a positive balance impact on the balance of trade. Okay, that also will have a positive impact on that. And we may end off, okay, increasing the exporting of finished products, which earn South Africa more money than, exp uh, than exporting just raw material. Okay, so all this impacts on the balance of trade. Now, if you just export raw material, yes, you will get in millions. All right, but if you take the same raw material and develop a product, then the value of that is much, much higher. All right, the value is much, much higher. If let's just take an example, you've got iron and steel, you can sell it, all right, for may, maybe a few million rand, maybe a ton, two ton, but if you develop a car, how much more you will sell it for? Okay, can you see that? Now, we have a export, all right? And our big export partner is Africa. Now look at this, machinery, okay? Hygiene products, chemicals, all right? Uh, we're looking at all these that are being finished products that are being sent out. So imagine the amount of money, look at this. 5 billion, that's a lot of money. Machinery, all right? Can you see how many billion that we're getting in? All right, we're getting huge amounts of money from exports and that's possible, okay? With the finished products, the amount goes into the billions of rands, okay? That we get into our country. So industrial activity plays a huge, impact on our country itself all right can you see that with the exports etc look at another important point it's a significant contributor to the gdp it contributed 29 percent of south africa's or it contributed 29 percent to south africa's gdp in 2015 can you see it here massive contribution massive all right and it goes into billions all right now one more thing you also need to look at if we sell it all right and think transactions are happening and employment etc imagine the amount of taxes the government is getting to develop infrastructure all right develop the economy etc Okay, beside the well-being of the people, developing the economy. So, taxes also come in learners, all right? So, uh, if you look at that, that's another importance. Then it employs a lot of people. Example, manufacturing employed 1.8 million people in 2014 a huge amount of people just manufacturing alone you understand employed so many people all right a huge amount so it plays a huge part including the development uh, or the employment itself all right then uh, uh i must get back to my lesson i'm so sorry i'm too happy to press buttons okay so you can see we've given you quite a few of the main factors here that tells you that secondary activities are huge, all right, and contribute greatly to the economy of South Africa. These graphs, etc., are based on South Africa, okay? Now, I, I'm, I won't give you a little uh, activity here because when you study, you must be able to take this and apply it. We will do specific core areas or core industrial regions of South Africa in my later lessons. All right, and you'll see how you'll employ and apply these important aspects. Okay, learners, I think I've saved you a lot of data today. All right, I hope I've cleared uh, the impact or the contribution to the South African economy of secondary activities. Uh, keep well. Goodbye.